Um, so I, uh, I'm from TCS, yes, and uh, we had a lot of uh, uh, engaging uh, conversation before this on how should the industry get involved. And I was going through the questions that you had put across. Uh, half of my uh, material has already been spoken by Rajini, Madam, and Avantika. <laughs> but then uh, some of the critical elements uh, uh, are actually in a statistical form. Uh, based on a study that McKinsey had done uh, across nine countries, and it's just not India, this is across the globe, that 83% of the educational institutions believed that their students were job ready. But on the ground, at the same time, the same report said the employers felt that only 51% of the students were job ready. So there's clearly a mismatch between the perception that the academic institutions have versus what the expectations from the job market. And it is all the more important now, given the pace of technology, the way technology is rapidly changing. Uh, I have been in TCS for the last 26 years. At that point of time, C and C++ was the big thing. Then came Java. Then came React JS and Node.js. All that is out now. It's all Python, R, and all kinds of new things. And I am sure half of it now is going to be taken over by our famous chat GPT. Um, I think it's a bad word across academic institutions now. <laughs> so uh, yes, but we need to also look at how we can address that elephant in the room in terms of how do we get people, the students, the learners, the core of the, the core people, the Gen Z, that we are talking about, who believe that a 30 second reel in Instagram is too big, right? So, I mean, we are looking at a, at a populace in this segment who is not ready for a one hour course, who is not ready for a three year degree program, to be ready to get on the ground and start earning. Anyone, I mean, I know my daughter says, when will I start earning? I said, what have you studied? So there is this gap that needs to be addressed. And the industry, we as TCS also believe that this is the need where we brought in education as a core business unit, where we need to address this lacuna that is there. And uh, the fact that uh, Avantika was mentioning about the need for building on top of the base. The academy is doing a wonderful job of theory. The base always is there. A foundation needs to be set. They're doing a wonderful job. But what else is required for them to be industry ready? And that's where micro credentials, building in nuggets for the 30 second reel kind of people is required. How do we make it immersive? How do we make it interesting? How do we make them ready to learn? One is to have this ready, how to get them to learn, how to make them job ready. So the first aspect that we need to do is to understand what is the needs of the market. Can we stack the requirements from, say, a non-IT kind of requirements to IT set of requirements, uh, advanced level of requirements for a job, ensure that that kind of curriculum is available jointly review it between the industry and academia, build that kind of courses. The academic team can build those courses, teach the theory part. The industry can bring in their perspective on what is there, how does it work. You've learned what you need to learn in terms of say, Python, for example. But how do you apply it? What are the use cases? What are the business cases that run in? In the, those kind of things, the perspective of the industry needs to be brought in so that that learning is rapid and that learning gets translated into immediate employment in the industry. So that entire cycle has to happen as an interface mm -hmm. between the industry and academia. And as uh, Ravi rightly said, uh, the programs that they have for banking a similar set we, we have for a lot of other things that we could bring in 
both technical and non technical that bridges this gap between the academia uh, what the academia delivers and what the industry needs the time is now and uh, i think academia is ready the industry is ready i think all we need is a partnership now that's about it thank you very much thanks a lot amma